Hello, everybody. My name is Bailey Fisher, and I will be doing my speech today on the death of Hector in the Iliad. Before Book 22 of the Iliad, Achilles and Patroclus, which are depicted below, rejoin the war, and unfortunately, Patroclus is murdered by Hector and Apollo. Upon hearing about the death of his friend, Achilles becomes enraged and is more determined than ever to kill Hector and defeat the Trojans. In Book 22, Achilles and Hector finally meet on the battlefield, and Hector only has one wish before the fighting ensues, for the winner to return the fallen warrior's body to his army and or family. Achilles refuses to honor that wish and kills Hector on the battlefield, which is depicted to the right, but this is the point in which Achilles should be blamed for his actions. The noble action would have been to either return Hector's body to Priam, which is Hector's father, or to let the Trojan soldiers retrieve Hector's body from the battlefield. This would have allowed Hector's family and the Trojan people to mourn and honor Hector. Unfortunately, Achilles takes the route of expediency and keeps Hector's body to further avenge Patroclus and humiliate the Trojans. While keeping Hector's body from the Trojans, Achilles harshly mistreats the body, and even the go gods notice this injustice against Hector. These harsh treatments include allowing the Greeks' dogs to attack the body, leaving the body in the hot and harsh sun, and dragging the body behind Achilles' chariot, which is also depicted to the right. These actions cause most of the gods to feel pity for Hector and his family, especially Apollo, and they decide to protect Hector, Hector's body. They erase any disfigurement from Hector's body, and Apollo covers Hector with his golden agus, which is depicted also in the image to the right, which is Apollo's own divine protection. The fact that even the gods are taking pity on Hector and his family shows that what Achilles is doing is not a noble or honorable act. In Book 24 of the Iliad, it is explained that Priam and his people have lost all faith now that Hector is dead and Priam continuously lashes out at his other surviving sons and isn't eating. All they want is to properly mourn and honor Hector before their ultimate destruction, but they can't fulfill that because Achilles won't return Hector's body. Of course, they're on opposite sides of the war, but Achilles should at least understand that Hector should be given a proper funeral, just like Achilles and the Greeks did for Patroclus. Overall, Achilles let his own emotions of anger and overwhelming sadness take over and get in the way of rationally thinking about how he should have treated, treated Hector's body. The situation can just show how easily one person's emotions can, can, can take control in any situation. If we do let our own emotions get into and overpower aspects of our lives, such as politics or our jobs, our judgment can be clouded. People begin to think irrationally and don't take into consideration the reasoning behind another person's ideals or how it will affect a majority of the people connected to a certain action. This non-sympathetic and closed-minded approach or mindset is one of the major reasons why our nation is very politically divided now. However, being more sympathetic with and respecting each other can bring us closer as a society and things could get accomplished efficiently and faster. So I think we can learn a thing or two from the way Achilles' emotions caused him to treat Hector and his family, even if they are enemies. Thank you.